Hey YouTube, I'm Venomous Woe, and this is my Asus T101MT. Now normally this computer comes with Windows 7 Professional, but I've loaded it with Android x86, a build of the Android operating system designed for x86 tablets and computers. So, with that said, how does it perform? Let's find out. Right, so here's the computer. You can probably see my reflection in the background. Um, I have it laid out in front of my webcam like so. And let's turn her on and see Android x86 in action. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the webcam video monitor in the computer. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter to get past the grub screen. And it's going to find Android x86 and it's going to boot it. There it goes. Yeah, this thing shipped with Windows 7 Professional. I got rid of it and put Android on it. I'm so boss. If I was really boss, I'd make the damn thing. But I have tabletx86.org to thank for that. One thing I should mention about this build of Android. There's actually uh, an Android x86 project to um, port Android to desktop computers and stuff like that. This is not from that project. This is a build made by someone else or another group of people called tabletx86.org. The links to both the official project and the um, tabletx86.org build will be in the description. I personally prefer the unofficial builds from tabletx86, but that's my opinion. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. Let me show you. As you can see, touch works. I can move this around. Wi-Fi works if you can't see that little indicator down at the bottom. So let's check out the camera. Let's see if the camera works. Well, it works, but um, as you can see, the image is upside down. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, so this is my home screen. I can swipe across home screens like so. I can also use the mouse's touchpad to just grab and drag. Eh, it's not as good. Now this build of Android, it comes equipped with an ARM emulator, which is what that does is that it allows applications that are dependent on ARM processors in order to, to run on x86 processors. Now the difference between ARM and x86 processors is that ARM is like for mobile phones and tablets and smartphones and things like that, and x86 is what you'd find in a laptop or a desktop PC. So yeah. For a demonstration app, I have Angry Birds right there. So let's click on that and show off Angry Birds. Nah, stupid ads. As you can see, Android x86 Six is loading Angry Birds just fine. So it goes into the game just fine. I can zoom out, zoom in. They can launch the birdies. Gotcha, you stupid pig. Okay, 
And there's also and I also have a bunch of apps like Pulse, Meridian for music, um, Stick Mount to mount my drives. This device is rooted, by the way. So um, if you decide to install this, you'll have a rooted system on your hands. So you can experiment with all the apps on the Android market, not just the ones that work with a non-rooted phone. And I have my Bank of America app right there, so don't go stealing this now. And no, I'm not going to show you if it works or not. It does, by the way. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is the YouTube app. The, um... <clears throat> The YouTube app has kind of a weird quirk with it. Like, as you can see, the YouTube app appears to be working fine so far, but if I click on a video, oops, it didn't play. Well, here's the problem. This, the uh, YouTube player defaults to HD video playback. And Android x86 in its current state cannot play HD video. So let's try that again, but turn HD off. Yeah, see, now it plays. What is good with... So, yeah. Also, Google Voice Search does not work, even though this computer has a microphone. Yeah, you can see right there, unfortunately, Voice Search has stopped. Everything else so far, I think, works, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja does not work. I tried it, I, tried it, I installed it, doesn't work. And some apps just seem locked out. Like, I can't find Shadow Gun or the Regina Launcher app anywhere on the market, even though they're there on for phones. So it seems to be blocking out those apps because they're not compatible with my system. Well, I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Let's turn off this computer. Yeah, yeah.